Right now, fire crews are watching homes closely after a wildfire last night near Ormond Beach. The Forest Service says the fire quickly grew to almost 130 acres, but crews were able to contain it. Right now, an investigation is underway to see what started this and other fires in the area earlier this week. News 6's Ezie Castro has the new details. You can still smell a little bit of smoke in the area, but we're told that crews stayed up till midnight last night to make sure that neighborhoods nearby we're okay, and we're told again that crews will be out here all day checking for hot spots. A scary situation for dozens of residents here in the Cypress Trail neighborhood off Clyde Morris Boulevard yesterday near Ormond Beach. Forestry officials say a large wildfire threatened dozens of homes coming dangerously close to the complex. What we're talking about when we say that we were protecting that or that we protected 75 homes, we're talking about the homes that are all along that perimeter where the fire was. Um, the fire was quite a distance away from the back of the homes. However, it did look pretty significant. Wildlife mitigation specialist Julie Allen says the fire grew approximately 130 acres, but was fully contained before midnight. We saw firefighters there this morning monitoring hotspots near the homes. We do have personnel out there that are um, completely going around it, GPSing the perimeter of the fire to kind of get a concrete number of what that acreage is. But right now we're going to stick with 130 acres. Allen explained residents were worried because of two other fires in the area this week. They believe someone caused the fires, but it's not clear if it was accidental or on purpose. That's something she says they are trying to figure out. We did determine that they are human caused. However, in saying that, just because we make the statement that it is human caused does not indicate that there is a major problem out there. Those two fires are being investigated. As for the cause of last night's fire, that's still unknown. In Volusia County, Ezzie Castro, going to results news 6.